What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad right back here with Clever News and in what might be the most comical internet competition yet, Twitter held a Chris off to see which of the famous Chris's was most and least favourable and we've got some bad news for Chris Pratt fans. As we all know, Hollywood is swarming with famous Chris's. We've got Chris Evans, Hemsworth, Rock, Pine, Pratt, I mean the list truly goes on. But when given what seemed to be a difficult task of choosing a favourite and least favourite Chris, Twitter seemed to be in full agreement that one Chris in particular was the weakest link. This debate all started on Saturday when screenwriter and TV producer Amy Berg shared a tweet consisting of four headshots of the famous Chris's with the caption, one has to go. The post has since gone viral, racking up over 9,000 likes and 13,000 retweets, as some people argued many different reasons why said Chris's should be booted from Chris Island. One user wrote, Pine, he is not a marvel, nuff said. While another person tweeted, It's a trick, ain't they all the same person? Although many agreed that Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth were not to be harmed or spoken an ill word about, an overwhelming number of fans, and I can't believe I'm uttering these words, I'm so sorry Chris, it's the internet, not me, an overwhelming number of fans also agreed that Chris Pratt has to go. One user tweeted, Pratt was banished from Chris Island years ago, while another person shared their opinion saying, Chris Pratt is not movie star material and never will be. He will always be the forgettable co-star. Ouch. I mean, Chris's character Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy has got to be up there as one of my favourites. This came as news to many who were genuinely confused, clearly me included, as to why Chris Pratt was getting so much hate. This user asked, wait, am I missing something? What did Chris Pratt do? Well, it appears the main reason for all the negativity is that Chris is being accused of allegedly being a Trump supporter, as well as supporting an anti-LGBTQ plus church. One person tweeted, Just found out that Chris Pratt is a Trump supporter. He has to go, I'm afraid. And another user said, Chris Pratt is a Trump supporter and I will never watch anything that he is in again. Never. Another user said, quote, Pratt, his views are terrible and he supports anti-LGBTQ activist churches. Easy. Last year, actress Ellen Page accused Chris of supporting a anti-LGBTQ church after responding to an article referencing his spirituality, tweeting, Okay, um, but his church is infamously anti-LGBTQ, so maybe address that too? Chris was quick to respond to the accusations as he took to his Instagram stories to tell fans, quote, It has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously anti-LGBTQ. Nothing could be further from the truth. I go to a church that opens their doors to absolutely everyone. He went on to say, Despite what the Bible says about divorce, my church community was there for me every step of the way, never judging, just gracefully accompanying me on my walk. They helped me tremendously offering love and support. It is what I have seen them do for others on countless occasions, regardless of sexual orientation, race or gender. More recently, fans were outraged by Chris's recent Instagram post that encouraged fans to vote, but not in the way that many other celebrities are urging fans to vote. Earlier this month, Chris shared this Instagram post that read, With all that's going on in the world, it is more important than ever that you vote. Just ask any celebrity, they will tell you, every day, several times a day, to vote. But me, I will tell you exactly who to vote for. Hashtag onward. He continued an attempt to make a joke out of his entire post, adding, The heroes before us did not spill their blood only to have their sacrifices wasted by your apathy. The upcoming 2020 People's Choice Awards is the most consequential vote in the history of mankind times a million infinity. Chris concluded his PSA by saying, Vote for onward for family movie of the year, or else you will die. No hyperbole, click the link in my bio, let your voice be heard. Clearly considering the upcoming election, which is much more important, his joke appeared to not have landed as he might have hoped, with fans who were infuriated by the insensitive announcement. One user wrote, Yikes, imagine the amount of privilege one person can have to write this tone-deaf post. Another person said, Ha ha ha, what the F? This is super insensitive, read the room. Oh wait, you did, and decided to mock people. Cool. Needless to say, the poster of the original competition actually did read the room and quickly replaced Chris Pratt with Irish comedian Chris O'Dowd in a new competition for fans writing, I feel like this one is harder. 
For more Hollywood news updates, you can click right over here to watch another Clever News video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on Twitter's Chris consensus down here in the comments section below and which of these Chris's is your favorite. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.